but more than 5,000 miles away, a megacity is running dry. And Han hold more than one-twelfth of the Earth's fresh water. Yet China has a water crisis. China's capital. Double the population of New York and growing. The entire city is gripped by a 50-year drought. Without rain, the landscape around Beijing is turning to desert. The city is choking on sand and dust. By 2030, Beijing's water will run out. A big problem demands a big solution. The largest engineering feat of all time. The Chinese are building the world's longest man-made river, the South North Water Diversion Project. A thousand miles, one-fourth the length of the Nile. On its journey, it will cross 205 rivers, 42 railways, and thousands of roads, carrying 300 million gallons of water every day to Beijing. Only one force is strong enough to push so much water so far. We'll make the water flow to its destination by gravity instead of pressure. So we need to heighten the dam to raise the water level, so the water can flow to Beijing. When it was completed in 1973, the Danjengku Dam held back the largest reservoir in Asia. Now the reservoir will be two-thirds larger. To increase capacity, engineers must increase height. Just one problem. If the surface isn't prepared right, the pressure of 30 billion tons of water could separate the new concrete from the old and rip the dam apart. A technical difficulty we are facing is to integrate the old and new concrete. We have to remove the old concrete from the surface of the dam. Removing the top layer of concrete creates a rough surface that fresh concrete can stick to. Out with the old, in with the new. Giant vibrators stir the concrete and remove air bubbles that would weaken the dam. No feat of construction compares to this one. By its completion in 2030, the Chinese will use enough concrete to build more than a million Sears Towers. I would love to see people in Beijing drink the water we supply. This is an historic project and working on it will be a very good experience for me. We are very serious and responsible about the job and we're putting all our energy into completing it. To meet deadlines, they work round the clock.
To carry the man-made river on its last stages, another team keeps pace on another mammoth project a thousand miles away on the edge of the Chinese capital. Beijing's subway runs 60 feet below the surface. 60 feet below the subway, workers excavate two more tunnels. Not for trains, but water. Beijing is one of the most technologically advanced cities in the world. Yet the soil down here is too loose for machines. These tunnels must be dug by hand. To prevent cave-ins, the tunnels are shored up with a lattice of reinforced steel and concrete. Twenty-one-year-old Zhang Jing Chen is a newcomer to Beijing. For his crew, saving the city is a source of pride. We all came from the same village in Gansu province, so we get on really well. We came to Beijing to work on the South North Water Diversion Project. It's quite famous. We all heard it's the world's number one. Water will be diverted from the south to the north. It takes a grand project to do that. The man-made river will enter Beijing from the south. From here, it dives underground, beneath the city's western highway, and the busy subway. Each year, it will bring Beijing enough water to fill the Hoover Dam. I feel very proud to be contributing to this project. In all, 300 Chinese cities face a shortage of water. But as engineers labor to slake their thirst, another city flounders. <laughs> 